नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द सेवेंथ एपिसोड ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज डी के इज हल अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट मेजर टू इंप्रूव द सॉइल कंडीशन एंड टू सपोर्ट बेटर क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन इज टू इंक्लूड सी वीड एक्सट्रैक्ट इन फार्मिंग हेयर इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू मैंशन वंस अगेन दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग वेरियस मेजर वन बाई वन बट इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी टू फॉलो दैम फॉर ऑल क्रॉप इन ऑल द फार्म इनपुट्स need to be applied as per crop requirement and strictly as per soil health status that is soil test report from time to time you might be aware of algae they are found all over the world algae are very important because they make much of earth's oxygen which humans and other animals need to breathe some algae looks like plants however they are actually neither plants nor animals seaweeds are macro algae there are about 9000 species of macro algae classified into three groups that is red seaweed green seaweed and brown seaweed brown seaweeds comprise about 2000 species and are most commonly used in agriculture interestingly brown seaweeds are allowed for nutrient management even under organic farming practices they are an important input for safe production or sustainable agriculture or even profitable farming they help achieve higher crop production as well as soil quality improvement seaweed extracts promote plant growth when applied in small quantities and are also referred to as metabolic enhancers when applied in soil seaweed extract enhances moisture holding capacity promotes the growth of beneficial soil microbes and secretion of soil conducting substances by these microbes presence of useful constituents in terms of mineral nutrients amino acids vitamins and phytohormones like cytokinin auxin indole acetic acid and abscisic acid etc has direct benefits and the direct benefits are in terms of early germination and establishment enhance the plant chlorophyll content and this helps the crop to fight against biotic and abiotic stresses such as salinity extreme temperatures nutrient deficiency and even drought foliar application of seaweed extract during vegetative stage that is before flowering may produce up to 50% more flowers up to 30% increase in fresh fruit weight and enhanced post harvest shelf life of perishable products seaweed extracts can be applied both in the soil and over the plants soil application in the beginning that is at final land preparation or at first irrigation and foliar application before flowering is suggested several formulations are available therefore doses depends upon concentration of the product and its quality it is suggested to apply strictly as per recommendations or to be applied at low concentrations that is maximum 1 ml per liter of water it is commonly observed that inputs are applied in excess whether in terms of doses per application or more number of applications than it is actually needed therefore it is strictly suggested to avoid overdosing as it could be harmful and also add to the cost of cultivation thanks for watching like the video and subscribe channel share with friends and give feedback so that we can include new topics in future as well